Okay guys, what's up? Nitro Kidanya here with the part to the downpipe. Uh, I got the video posted up yesterday. Um, unfortunately, since I'm doing it from my phone, everything that I upload is uploaded as a private video. So, um, y'all weren't able to see it for the fact that uh, I keep forgetting that it does that. And I went in there today, set it public, so everybody should be able to see it now. I'm not sure if private means subscribers and nobody can see it. I'm not really sure. Um, this is the downpipe that I was showing y'all in the video. Uh, I've got it welded together. Welds ain't too good. This is what I'm welding with. I'm welding with the uh, little 90 amp flux wire welder for right now. Um, anything really bigger than we ain't wired for 210 or nothing. And I'm not going to bother buying a 110 welder until uh, when I'm, we, uh, me and my wife, are in the process of buying a house. Hopefully, about two months, that'll be good. I'm going to get me a Miller Matic, uh, get the house or the little shop I'm going to put out outside wired for 210. So I'm just using that for now. So the weld ain't too clean, but you know, it, it does okay. Um, so what we're gonna do, this is gonna be the part that comes off the turbo. It's gonna go down. It's gonna be right near the frame, right around here. And then we're gonna cut it right in here. We're gonna have to put it on the car here in a second and find out exactly where it needs to be cut. And then basically just run a pipe down from there. Um, here's the flange, which we're gonna be using. I'm actually about to go down the shop right now. I got the car jacked up, taking the old down pipe off. We're going to bolt that to the turbo, set that up under there. Once we get the other down pipe completely off and out of the way, and see exactly where we need to be marked. And um, if it's if it looks like something I'm going to have to weld on the car, we're going to go ahead and relocate the welder down there and weld. That's one reason I like this. There's no argon, no nothing like that to move. Basically, pick it up, go where you're going, and weld. And I mean, it does lay pretty decent welds. Um, nothing extreme. Um, right here is where the old hanger came off, so it's a little rough. I might have a little pinhole or something there. I'm going to have to weld up. I don't know. Um, but for the most part, actually, this thing's pretty nice. Um, considering this is the piece that connected the center section of exhaust to the muffler part of the exhaust. Um, as I tell you, at one time, this was the piece that went over the rear axle. Um, so I'm not going to complain. I didn't have to buy steel. This is just stuff laying around the shop that I didn't see me using again. So um, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go down there and get that done. This will be part two. Um, I'll have that up here. I'll have this up on the Internet here in just a little bit. Um, but... Um, I'm going to hopefully have that done within an hour of shooting it now. Um, like I got to say, guys, you got to have to work with me a little bit considering I'm working on my phone. I don't have a video editor, nothing like that right now. Um, this is um, from a Galaxy Note 4, so I'm doing the best I can. But, guys, just stay tuned, and um, hopefully we'll get it running today. Unfortunately, I forgot to pick up O2 bungs. I really don't feel like going out for them. If I have to, I will. We're going to bolt this up and probably start it up without the O2 in. Um, that won't hurt anything in open loop or uh, yeah, open loop, which um, it basically runs on the computer anyway and doesn't use the O2. And if it hits closed loop, it'll just cut off. So I mean, it ain't really gonna hurt anything. Um, so just to get a little bit of a sound and I hope I can get that up for y'all. But anyways, guys, uh, I gotta get back down to the shop and get welding. But uh, this is part two.